The deadline for property tax payment remains September 30th, despite ongoing confusion and logistical challenges. Minister of Finance Colin Imbert addressed these concerns in the Senate this afternoon, noting that the efforts are underway to develop a solution for online payments. However, he acknowledged that this has proven to be a complex task. More in this report from Candice Jackson. All residential property owners who received property tax assessments must pay their taxes by September 30th. Finance Minister Calm Imbert acknowledged that processing payments at Inland Revenue offices is causing logistical issues but insisted that the deadline will not be extended. Meanwhile, he noted that efforts are underway to develop a payment system through banks, though complications have arisen. One such complication involves handling the service charge, as the Exchequer Act requires that tax as a form of government revenue must be accepted in full without deductions. The banks will collect those payments of property tax, record them appropriately, identify who paid for what, when, and so on, and then remit the amount paid in full to the Treasury to go into the consolidated fund for it to be recorded as revenue. The banks would then send a bill to the Ministry of Finance for the service charge. Then there is a matter of ensuring the payments are correctly recorded as revenue. So what I would not want to happen is a situation where people make their property tax payments on, online and it is not properly recorded as revenue in the consolidated fund and then we'll get another report from the Auditor General that will start another set of confusion on back and out. But we are very close to a solution. Imbert also noted the need to establish a system for issuing official receipts to taxpayers when they make payments online or through bank transfers. When the person pays the tax, they must get a receipt from the Board of Inland Revenue to confirm that they have paid the tax. Because if they don't get that, then you can end up in an argument and then there may be even more confusion with respect to penalties and interest. So that's issue number one that must be dealt with. Issue number two is a proper recording of the revenue in the consolidated fund. Meanwhile, failure to pay property taxes by September 30th will incur additional fees, with the only exception being those who did not receive tax assessments. The Board of Inland Revenue has been unable to deliver a tax assessment notice to the taxpayer, then the taxpayer is not at fault. You understand? So you have not received a tax assessment notice from the Board of Inland Revenue. The legal opinion is that you are not at fault and you will not be subject to any penalties and interest. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.